So, October saw the lifting of the curfew that's been going on forever, right, in Kenya. And this is the best time to start investing if you haven't started. And also the best time to continue investing if you're someone who's been doing it. Why do I say so? Because economically speaking, the country is going to feel the effect of lifting of this curfew. At the end of the day, when lots of things are not happening legally, because there are people who follow the law, there are businesses that will not feel comfortable to do certain things because the law says they shouldn't pass a certain time. It limits the, uh, the number of trading hours in a country. It limits the economic activities in a country. It limits productivity in a country. It limits manufacturing in a country. It limits foreign direct investments in a country. It limits cash flow and liquidity in the country. It limits the amount that the banks can be willing to give out to different businesses. And therefore, it's important that we know that after the curfew, there are certain things that are likely to happen. There are certain companies that are likely to start getting back up, feeling the impact, the positive impact of opening the economy once again, everything expanding, activities getting back to normal, people starting to focus more on productivity rather than the virus that has really messed up people. So you can be sure that there are certain sectors and certain stocks that are going to give you amazing, amazing returns in the next few days. Which are these stocks? And that is what we are going to discuss in this video. We're going to look at the stocks and the sectors that you need to focus on after the curfew. So basically you are saying, okay, the curfew has been lifted. The economy is opening up. What are some of the stocks that you are supposed to be buying or looking into or which sectors are you supposed to be looking into if you are someone who invests in stocks? And remember, not just those who have been investing, but also the new people. I encourage you to start investing as soon as possible. Don't save your money in the bank. You're losing money uh, to inflation. The inflation rates are quite high right now in the US. It went to the highest levels in the whole of September. So inflation generally is quite high. If inflation is bad in an economy like the US, you can imagine the impact it has on developing countries that depend so much to a certain extent on the US. Which are some of the stocks you need to buy 2021 after the curfew? So those who will be watching this video 20, 30 years from now, we're doing this video because there has been a curfew due to the virus. And therefore, after the curfew has been lifted, we need to think of which stocks are the best to buy. Because these videos will be watched for years and years on YouTube. Hopefully, YouTube will be there and showing these videos and people will be like, wow, what happened in 2021 and 2020? But yes, this is where we are. And we're talking about the lifting of the curfew because of the virus and which stocks you need to focus on. As usual here at Kent's Money Matters, we talk about the money mindset, how to make that money, how to enjoy that money, how to manage that money, how to invest that money, and how to assure yourself of a lifetime of income, basically financial freedom. So guys, we are on a journey of financial freedom. And a journey of financial freedom does not just require saving, it requires investing. You don't save for the sake of it. You invest. Every single thing that you save, every single coin that you save, make sure you're investing it, okay? The reason we're here is because we aspire to achieve financial freedom. Some of us have tried it before, and it's an amazing place to be, trust me. It's something you definitely want to try. You want to try to work not because you have to, but because you want to. Or you know what? Just lie down on the beach and enjoy life. Why not? This is life. You live it once, right? But you want to live it once with good portfolio, good investments, and good cash flow. How do you assure yourself of a cash flow? Consistent saving, consistent investing, looking for opportunities to make your money work for you. So we're going to look at it from different perspectives. I will open my laptop and I'll show you the screen on which are some of these stocks we're going to look at. There's no need saying them off if you can go straight into Nairobi Stock Exchange website, look at those particular sectors, look at those particular stocks and tell you this is the stock you need to be looking into. But before we get into that, I need to tell you the parameters I'm going to use to decide which stocks you need to look at, into. The first parameter is, of course, the infrastructure development in the country. Kenya is experiencing unprecedented infrastructure development. As you can see, wherever you move around Nairobi, around the country, there's a lot of development, there's a lot of infrastructure development, there are a lot of uh, improvement. And when infrastructure development takes hold, it opens a country. When a country opens up, it opens productivity and movement. When movement opens up, cash flow increases. With the increase in infrastructure development and such activities, the economy is going to open up. And what do we need? We need labor, we need materials, 
and we need cash flow so that those people who are taking care of those infrastructure are constantly paid and then they pay their suppliers suppliers who then pay the workers and of course the money goes back to the manufacturing industry of course we are looking at the infrastructure development and how it's likely to open up the manufacturing sector that's going to ensure that the companies that manufacture the materials required for that infrastructure development are going to be producing more when they produce more you know what happens the increased circulation of money in the economy and of course there are also people who work in these particular places there are people who work in the manufacturing sector there are people who work in the infrastructure development sites so you can imagine the kind of cash flow we're talking about these things could have taken a break during that time curfew period most manufacturing companies also took a hold because you couldn't work past a certain time you couldn't produce consistently like you should there were a lot of restrictions and people were just uh, basically holding back even investors private investors were holding back their money to see when the country will open up before they put in money you must remember that there are so many private investors who invest in these companies and not just private investors there could also be institutions that invest in these companies so they had to hold back a bit before they release money. The first one is infrastructure development, which will impact positively on manufacturing and of course, every single thing that's attached to manufacturing. The second thing I would say is the banking sector. Again, the banking sector is going to be opening up right now. The banks were not willing to give loans so easily because, because some businesses were not in a position to operate to their full capacity or full potential to achieve what they need to achieve. Banks are going to be more willing to give loans to different businesses that are willing to open up and make that money much faster and give it back to the bank. And the banks were definitely careful because of the curfew. So right now, if the banks open up their books, they start loaning out to different people, different developers, real estate developers, everyone else involved in different businesses, um, the bars, the restaurants. This is going to spur some kind of economic activity in the country, which will definitely lead to loss of cash flow, liquidity, and of course, money in the economy so we are looking at which sectors are likely to experience growth we have looked at now the banking sector and we're looking at the fact that the loans are going to be given to businesses who will be able the businesses will now be able to service their loans too because there were a lot of businesses that were failing to service their loans there were a lot of even real estate developers who are not in a position to service their loans so if they will be able to start servicing their loans you can imagine what's going to happen then of course we're going to look at the telecommunications industry again when things are opening up we are looking at the it infrastructure we're looking at the communication sector we're looking at safaricom for example we're looking at some of the companies that are involved in the telecommunication when the economy opens up there's more communication more movement more production and that is definitely going to inspire a bit of growth in the telecommunications sector so we've looked at the manufacturing sector we looked at the banking sector, we're now looking at the telecommunications sector, and these are sectors that will be definitely impacted because there will be almost a 24-hour economy rolling back into place with time. And that requires proper uh, IT infrastructure, telecommunications infrastructure. And where do we run to? You know the stocks we run to when you talk about telecommunications. And then, of course, consumption, consumption, consumption. And this is another sector you want to look at. You want to look at the consumer industry, probably. You want to look at uh, the agricultural industry because consumption is going to go higher. Most people are going to be out there working, producing, producing, producing. Or probably people are not in a position to consume because they are not getting cash flow. The moment people start getting cash flow, having money in their pockets, they are able to spend that money. That's how it works. You get money into your pocket, you spend that. So consumption will definitely go higher and that will push liquidity within the country and cash flow within the country and circulation of money within the country much higher and that definitely has an impact on particular stocks that you need to look into right now so we just want to look at which stocks are going to be expanding now with time and you need to watch out for those stocks with those parameters i believe you now understand why are we looking at these particular sectors and why is it that the lifting of the curfew is likely to impact those sectors so we go to my laptop right now and i'll just show you which are some of these companies that we need to look out for. This is Nairobi Securities Stock Exchange, basically NSE Nairobi. I always tell people, please come here and just look at the market, look at different uh, segments of this particular page. There's an education sector, public education, there's trading on NSE. If you want to know the market participants, the brokers you can use to trade, the statistics of the market in terms of the bonds, the equity, um, the derivatives market. This page has lots of information. And of course, if you want to see the listed companies that you can trade publicly, in Kenya. So always come to this site, you'll always find lots of information. I'll do a video soon again about this site because I realized something very interesting that you 
will definitely be interested in. But for now, we're looking at which sectors are we going to be focusing on. Number one was the manufacturing sector. So let's go to manufacturing sector. Uh, these are different sectors. As you can see, we have the banking sector, uh, agricultural sector, automobiles and accessories, banking, commercial and services, construction and allied, energy and petroleum, insurance, investments. And then if you go to the next page, we have uh, telecommunication, manufacturing, real estate, exchange traded funds. This is basically an ETF, which again, I need to do a video on. Oh man, so many things that I need to tell you guys. Stay tuned, stay tuned and subscribe, please. Subscribe, subscribe, please, and share as much as you can. Let's reach as many people as possible with this kind of information because we need to be financially literate. So guys, let's come to the manufacturing industry or the sector, sorry, where, which I mentioned earlier. We can see the BOC, British American Tobacco, Mumia Sugar, Kenya Oak, is, it, is that Orchards? Uh, Cabasid Investments, Unga, Flame, East Africa Breweries. Now, which one do I recommend right now? Because I've done a video on some of the stocks you need to buy in 2021. East Africa Breweries Limited, because again, you know why I'm recommending that. I've mentioned that several times. I definitely would want someone to buy this right now. And this is a stock you should always have in Kenya, to be honest. This is a long-term hold stock. This is a buy and hold stock. EABL is a buy and hold stock. And then I'm looking at Unga Group and I am looking at British American Tobacco. Those three companies have a chance of doing really well in the next few months with the opening of the economy. Right now we are focusing on the lifting of the curfew. Which companies should you buy right now? I'm looking at EABL, British American Tobacco. I'm looking at EABL, British American Tobacco and Unga Group. Now you can buy any within this sector depending on your portfolio and how heavily it is you are on the manufacturing sector. But yes, that's where the place you should go. Now, the next place I think you should go to, like I mentioned, is the banking sector. So we go back to the previous page and we go to the banking sector. Now, I've done a video on the banks you need to invest in. Please invest in the banking sector in Kenya and you will come and thank me later. The banking sector in Kenya is going to thrive in the next few years. And I gave reasons for this. If you watch my video on stocks to buy in Kenya right now, I gave very good reasons and all pointers to why the banking sector will be the next big thing in Kenya. Thank me later. Don't look for something complex. Just focus on the banking sector. And the banking sector here, you will see Stanbic, NCBA, Stanchards, KCB, IM, uh, Diamond Trust Bank, National Bank of Kenya, Equity Group Holdings, some of the best banks you can imagine in Kenya right now. So definitely want to look at the banking sector. Like I said, you also want to do some research on these particular stocks, but on my video, which I did already, I recommended Equity Bank, I recommended Stanchard Bank, I recommended IM Holdings, I recommended KCB, some of the banks that are very strong, and of course, Absa Bank, some of the banks that are very strong. So Absa Bank, KCB, Stanchard, Equity, very strong banks, and of course, even Cooperative Bank of Kenya. The banking sector in Kenya is quite stable, to be honest. And usually I have no issue whichever one you choose. You just need to do a bit more research on why you're choosing it. Of course, you want to look at many other things than just what I'm saying in this particular video. But this is a sector that you'd want to get into. Then, of course, after the banking sector, we mentioned the construction sector, right? So construction sector and allied. You feel free to link the construction sector to real estate, which is going to be booming. Uh, in the next few months too because people are just going to be getting loans and stuff to service whatever it is they want to be developing. So here I'm looking at Bamburi and I'm looking at uh, Crown Paints as some of the best for me in my opinion. So I'll be looking at Bamburi and Crown Paints. Of course, like I said, feel free to choose any company in this particular sector and buy it. Okay. The thing is, don't waste so much time trying to analyze stuff. Don't waste so much time trying to analyze companies. Come here, do some basic analysis, which I've also done a video on how to analyze stocks and which you want to choose and then choose whatever it is you want to buy. Now, the construction sector, the banking sector, the manufacturing sector, go with those three sectors, you won't go wrong. I can assure you of that. Basically, you just need to do a good research on the particular company you're buying and you're good to go with those sectors. You don't have to make it so complicated. Thanks, guys. I hope that makes sense. I hope it helps you understand some of the stocks you need to buy now post scarfew and of course grow your money as usual please subscribe share like comment thank you guys